So in science, we like to measure things. There are three primary areas where we measure. One would be length or distance. A second would be mass. And a third would be volume. There are other things we measure, but most of those things are derivatives of these three measurements. In science, um, we measure length or distance using the meter. That's the base unit of measurement. And the base unit of measurement for mass is the gram. And for liquid volume, we use the liter. Now, these become roots. I'm sure you've learned in, in English about prefixes and roots. And so we could use, let's say, the meter as the root, and we could use the kilo off this staircase as the prefix. And since kilo means 1,000, we would be saying that the measurement is a kilometer is a thousand meters. Now the staircase, you'll notice a pattern here. Kilo is a thousand, hecto is a hundred, deca is ten, deci is one tenth or point one, centi is one one hundredth or point zero one. And milli is one one thousandth, or 0 0.001. And this whole thing could be applied to any combination there. I could go and say milli, gram, which would be one, oops, one one thousandth of a gram. Now, <clears throat> the way this state chart actually works, or to give you a little bit of an idea, I could take any base unit, let's say gram, and drop that base unit as a root after any one of these words, actually all of them, these prefixes. And know that a kilogram is larger than a milligram, which is smaller. So you really need, if I was measuring something, you need more, mil, more of the milligrams to measure something than you would do, would need kilograms. Because milli is a smaller unit of measurement. Now here's how you actually use the ladder. As I'm moving up the ladder, so let's say I'm moving from milli, well, we'll throw meter in here as a word, as the root. Let's say I'm moving from millimeter up to kilometer. Every time I take a step up the staircase, I am going to move the decimal place one, space to the left. Likewise, if I'm going down, I also have to move the decimal place, but this time for each step, I'm going to move it one space to the right. So what does that look like? If I had a thousand millimeters and I wanted to convert that to kilometers, I have to note that my decimal point starts right there. And so I'm going to go up the stairs one, two, three, four, five, six steps. So I'm going to move that decimal place one, two, three, four, five, 
six. So point zero zero one kilos is equal to one thousand millis. So point zero zero one kilometers are the same measurement as a thousand millimeters. Okay, it works the same way if we go in the opposite direction on the ladder. Let's say I wanted to go from, we're going to use grams this time. Let's say I wanted to go from a 75 kilograms to, we won't go as far this time, decigrams, although we don't really use that term that often. All right, so I'm going to start with 75. I'm going to count my stairs. Steps one, two, three, four. So I have four places I need to move my decimal place. This time I'm going to move it to the right because I'm going down the staircase. So one, two, three, four. So 70, 750,000 decigrams are the same thing as 75 kilograms. We're going to give you an opportunity to try one yourself. Um, let's, let's use liters and let's convert seventy five hundred milliliters to kiloliters. So how many kiloliters is seventy five hundred milliliters? Uh, pause this video, work it out, and then when you're done, turn it back on. I will show you the answer. All right, so here we go. 7,500 is how many milliliters we had. We're going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six steps. I'm going to move my decimal place. Change color here for a second. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, point zero zero seven five kilos is the same thing as 7,500 mill, milliliters. Let's practice one going in the opposite direction. Let's say I started off with, we'll use meters this time. Um, let's say I traveled 250 kilometers, and I wanted to know how many centimeters I went. Again, you can pause and then turn it back on when you're ready, having worked it out to see if you did it correctly. All right, so here we go. We started out with 250. We went down the staircase one, two, three, four, five steps. So I want to, I want to move my decimal place over one, two, three, four, five. So it comes out to be that I have, my answer would be 25 million. centimeters is the same thing as 250 kilometers, which I think you can see is a good reason why I would want to measure this distance in kilometers rather than centimeters. Um, so now you have a pretty good idea of how to convert units of measurement. Uh, you should probably practice this a little bit more on your own, but these are the basics on how to do it.